5-3-0-2-1. Alexander Skeleton, file 5-3-0-2-1. Contaminant. Skeleton. What was I saying? Skeleton. Okay. <laughs> Container skeleton, <laughs> file 5-3-0-2-2. All right. We're on uh, record for all three files this morning. We're getting started a little bit late because I had uh, an opportunity to chat with the attorneys that are handling this case. Uh, we've lost Ms. Wilhelm, uh, but I think that we know her position pretty well. Uh, she had another matter that she had to get to in circuit court. But let's go ahead and tackle what we know we can do this morning after uh, appearances. Bert Castle, on behalf of the petitioner. Tanya Zubers. How, how do you spell your last name? Z U V E R S. Thank you. All right. Um, and on Zoom, if you could give us your name, please. Can you hear us okay? Who's come from? Yes. It's John Skelton. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mr. Castleberry, your comments about the sidebar. Your Honor, um, I would like to prepare a trial brief in this matter. Um, I've spoken with Ms. Wilhelm, uh, and she is in agreement. We also would like to finalize a, a witness list. Um, therefore, we've asked the court to adjourn the, the hearing itself to July 29th and 30th. And then August 5th and 6th, if needed. Um, Your Honor, one thing we did not speak of is because this is a, a hearing and the parties are known, at least the ones that are here today, this is this was the date of publication. Um, I would like the court to set a, a deadline for a witness list um, so that we can all be prepared when we get here on the 29th if anyone else is planning on uh, putting witnesses forth besides the petitioner. Yes, so I can confirm also from our sidebar that Ms. Wilhelm was in agreement to adjourn uh, the trial dates. One thing we didn't talk about was the final pretrial date. So what we'll do is uh, set one of those and then we'll have to work with her if it doesn't work for her schedule in short. But my inclination is generally speaking to have any trial briefs, witness and exhibits filed and exchanged uh, by the final settlement date or the final pretrial date, I should say. That, that would work for me, Your Honor. I have some time Friday, June 21st at 9.30 or 10 o'clock anytime after 9.30 if that works for you. Say that date again, please. June 21st. Hey, I got to save lives. I have no problem with that day, Your Honor. Okay, so we'll set our pre-trial date at 9.30 on June 21st. And I do think that it's appropriate to move the trial to allow you to compile a trial brief to look at those specific issues and uh, for witnesses and exhibits so that we can better plan for uh, the time that will be used for purposes of trial. Any questions? No, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Skelton, did you hear that? Mr. Skelton, can you hear me? I can't understand anything. I can't understand okay. what you're saying. But... Well, do you have um, the ability to change your speaker system on that end? I, 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 I didn't understand what you said. Okay. Well, um, what I can tell you is that we are going to adjourn things and we'll be sending you copies of the new dates on there. Uh, between now and then, I will put a note in there to make sure that the jail staff provides you a request that they provide you uh, with a way that you can better understand what's happening. I do have the captions on as well, so I don't know if you're able to see those or not. Uh, I see the courtroom and I see you. I think you're on. <laughs> I think that right. you should ask me to see something. Well, uh, best I can do is uh, send a copy of this order out to you, as I previously indicated, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time under better circumstances. <laughs>